armor. Okay. Can I remember that? Bet you not. See, it sounds like there's one down here, too. Sword key. Yes! That way I can save space. That is the wisest thing to do, y'all. Now, if you were doing a speed run, don't do it. <laughs> Will you take the old key? Yeah. Oh, so I did find one. And that room is like... There is a dagger here. Wait. Was there a zombie on the floor? Oh, shit. There is. I just now noticed that, y'all. Because wasn't... In Jill's playthrough... Wasn't there one standing? No lie. <laughs> well, if we get bit, we get bit. Yeah, see, in Jill's playthrough, this was supposed to happen. But I think it's because I didn't do it in the very beginning of the game. <laughs> Stupid zombie. Tricks are for kids. Yeah, I think the reason why it didn't show it on Jill's was because we came... We, we did this near end game. Like, when... Not near end game, but it's when we came back from the mansion. I don't know how to approach this, guys. Just run. Go! We got it! Because it seemed like he was going to turn right when uh, I changed the camera angle, and that's what worried me. Okay, uh, so we got an old key. Can we go ahead and use that on, on the door real quick, map? Uh... We can't use it on any of these that I've been to yet. Yeah, so I can't use it just yet. So I don't... Map. Yeah, we got a lot of items to be picking up. So it would be... It'd be unwise to pick up those key items right now. Just wait till you actually have to use them. Because you use both of those, the blue jewel and the golden emblem, like, a couple rooms over. So, I mean, you know, just use them when the time comes. And that one room upstairs? Screw that room for right now. Screw it. Actually, hold on. And yes, I'm sorry about using the map a lot. Should we go this way or the other way, y'all? Well, let's go this way first. be my luck. I don't have the key for... Oh, wait, wait. Screw that up again. Oh, so it is locked. Hmm. I don't think I should go this way first. I'm, tr I'm trying to plan ahead. There's a dagger in there. Chemicals there. Shotgun that we don't need to pick up yet. Yeah, I think it's unwise to go here first. I'm sorry for wasting time, guys. I don't think it's a wise decision to go that way first. I could be wrong. But in my head, let's go to the safest route. I think it's safe. I could... I could be complete opposite right now. Like, oh man, I'm screwed. Where you at? 
that zombie. Actually, it'd probably be quick if I just do it like this. Well, that still kind of does not help. That still looks like he's down. Yeah, he's down. Just to be on the safe side, though. Okay. But we still got two daggers. We used one. Okay. So, yeah, he's down there. Map real quick. Uh... I haven't even gone down the stairs and it already shows I was on the first floor. That's what confused me. I was like, wait a minute. So yeah, that top door is locked. Okay. Well, screw that, yeah. Let's see if Rebecca's in here. Huh. Well, that's different. Is that origami right there? I'm actually curious. I don't think I never read this for uh, Geo. I, I could be wrong. Special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. We have new information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to seize their resurrection. One, incineration. Two, destruction of the head. Oh, I think I did read this. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with, which you'll need to find by yourself. Special instructions when disposing dead bodies as VX. Wow, that's it, really? Wow. That kind of blows. Uh, truthfully, that knife would be good for auto-aiming to figure out where enemies are located when you're trying to figure out where they're at from bad camera angles. But, yeah. And I like it like this. Do we need health items, truthfully? I don't know. I mean, Chris has got more uh, health than Jill has, so... Truthfully, I'm not too worried about his health situation. Uh... Old key. Wrong button. So, see, I thought the key item would be here because in the original, you talked to Rebecca, and I think there was a key here, but in the remake, there's not. Ooh, let's see if I can use the old key on that uh, that broken shotgun room. Will it work, y'all? Uh, let's just hope I don't, I don't get bit or waste it. I mean, it, if I waste a dagger, oh well. I hope I don't have to waste two. Dude, if I waste two, I'm going to be peed. Okay, so he's over there. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Flash grenade. Oh yeah, that's different. Uh, yeah, they both use daggers, but Jill use a stun gun. While Chris is, he uses a flash grenade. Interesting. Okay. Yes. That'll be very important for Chris. Since he won't be able to get the uh, grenade launcher. Might as well take this too. Because I'll be heading back to the... Uh... Just make sure there ain't anything else. Actually, what am I equipped with? Because you want to save the flash grenades for serious times. Like, this zombie doesn't really need to be killed. 
but ones that I do fear that might be uh, in the way and they bite me, oh, that's when I'm going to use the flash grenade. Are you going upstairs, buddy, or down? Because I need to know. Alright, let's put the ink ribbons up. Uh... Trying to think. I think that's all I need because we're going to head to the shotgun room. Good thing I did went this way first. Because I didn't know if that room was going to be locked or not. See, wasn't Chris mode? Weren't there three zombies in this hallway? And that's just a top four. Oh, crap, y'all. I didn't jump, but I was surprised. Ah. Because remember, he, he sometimes spawns up there, and then he is down there, and it's just confusing. Oh, boy. Yeah, this room right here that is my least favorite room in the entire game especially if more zombies enter that hallway through through the doors uh-uh actually this would be a nice time to get those shotgun shells but no lie I'm still not going to F with that Another dagger. How many is that? Three? Three. So we're doing good. Not gonna lie, that's that sometimes gets me and sometimes don't. Did I forget to push that the last time? Oh, I see it's a handgun magazine, ain't it? Yeah. Nope. We're doing a no handgun run. Ooh, that close up. Wait. Wasn't there a dagger in her profile? Because wasn't in the original, did he get a uh, small key? Or it's called Old Keys in this one. It's full of dirty water. I'm sorry, babe, but who would stick their hand in dirty water like that? And who takes a bath in, in their clothes? I'm right. Good. Let's get the freak out of here, guys. Is that if I'm correct? You should use that old key on this door. Yes. Okay, so good. Good. It's all part of my evil, evil scheme. I got five spaces. Pick it up. Thank you. Pick it up. 
See, remember they never jumped on Jill's, but I never picked up all the items either. Cause I never went to this camera angle. Yeah, see they don't jump out. I swore they did. Maybe maybe if you recome through this door. Hello. That was kinda new. Not gonna lie, my my heart kinda did race there. But I wanted this shotgun no matter what. <laughs> yes. Now, before we pick up the ink room, is there anything else to pick up? Because if we picked up the ink room and we would screw this up. Unless we combine the herbs, but I really don't like combining herbs unless I'm 100% for sure I don't have any more space to pick up the other stuff that I need to use. So guys, what this does is, if you didn't put the broken shotgun on there, what would happen is the trap in the other room would kill you. Now, if y'all watch my Jill playthrough first, the ceiling came down. Now, Barry is there to help Jill, but on Chris playthrough, no one helps. So you're, it's just a death trap bound to happen if you don't have the broken shotgun. And boy, did I learn that the hard way on the classic version. You would think with this fireplace, you could use the ladder. Ladder. Did it, Did y'all seriously hear me say ladder? Oh, God. I meant lighter. Uh, my bad. I'm just saying there's anything hidden. Do I really want to use that right? Nah. I'll save it. But we only got six shells right now. Remember, shotgun shell shotgun shells are pretty scarce in the in the beginning, but later on they start giving you quite a bit. Well, before before we go to the broken shotgun broken shotgun to the broken doorknob room. So yeah, this is the only door available. And I don't have any keys, so here we go. Now this zombie I don't like dealing with. Now, he's not hard when you're coming through this door, but he's hard to me coming out from the uh, safe room. That is what I hate. Now in the original version, that didn't that one zombie never phased me. In this version, or at least on Jill's, he always screwed me over. Uh so nice. Cause I hate the ones that uses two shells to kill. When you're aiming for their head. Uh... Wait, was that another ink ribbon real quick? That way I don't get us. What? Okay, uh, red I would like to save. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find more of those, but I might keep one on me. Uh, chemical. That's key item. Three. Remember how we saved ten times on Jill's playthrough? We already got nine ink ribbons. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're good on ink ribbons. Uh, uh real quick. I like my uh, shotgun to be in the f first left slot.
Real quick, let's go ahead and pick this stuff up. Yes. Wait. Zero? I thought I already gave you two it, on Jill's. Wasn't there something else on the ground? Oh no, it was that. I thought I saw something shiny on the ground from this camera angle. And wasn't there something to read? Oh no, wait. I think this is where you read the instruction manual on Jill's playthrough about, uh, decapitating a zombie or burning it before it became a crimson head. Okay. Yes. And then I think there's enough for, like, two more. As in, like, one more fill-up that gives you two. So use it wisely. Now, I am going to save that because I got that dang feeling that I'm going to get screwed somewhere. And I don't know when I'm going to use that. So let's just do this. Uh, map real quick. So bottom, bottom. <laughs> First floor, we did pretty good. I think we went everywhere we could on the first floor. Yeah. So everything else now is... Well, except for getting the shot... Yeah, except for getting the shotgun shells that I desperately need behind the... Uh, let's just call it the graveyard. I don't know what it's called. Uh, second floor... That's where we're about to be going. And we did, yeah, so pretty much what I'm doing is where I'm about to be going at right now. Feels like I'm missing something. Why do I got that feeling I'm missing something? comes running, doesn't he? I was hoping like maybe I ran like in a certain way he would show. Really? I don't want the other zombie to, to come walking down though. Screw it. We're going to have to guys. No! What guys, this is bad. Wow. We wasted two daggers on the same zombie. That's not what I was hoping for, y'all. I guess in some way that saved me a shotgun shell, so it kind of acted like I shot it with a headshot. But I don't know how I felt about that one. I kind of got screwed. I'm just restarting his location. Because I didn't want him to become a crimson head. Man. Really? You just had to pull an old fast one on me. Oh, first. Circle, 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 circle. Let's... Deposit that. Deposit. Unequip it and run around this zombie real quick. I 
What is that? Oh, dog whistle. Yes. A crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer won't sit in is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for, for both of us. John Tolman. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's handgun bullets. Uh, hmm. 